Whoa, hey there everyone, it's AJ and I'm back with another video. First of all, I'm really sorry that I didn't get a video uploaded last week. I'm still having some problems with my leg and was struggling to get this piece finished. But I persevered and have managed to finish it on time for the Artist Guild collab, where the theme was magical slash mythical creatures as pets. Just a heads up, I included the sketching footage for this in the last video. I'll also be putting it up on my Instagram video page, so go check it out there if you want to see a time lapse of the sketching process, so I won't be adding it in on this video. When I saw the prompt for this, my mind instantly went to a story I remembered as a child, and that was The Elves and the Shoemaker. If you don't know what that story is, I'll give a brief overview. One night, tired from work, an old shoemaker is unable to finish making a pair of shoes before they need to head to bed. When the shoemaker wakes up the next morning, the shoes are made. Perplexed and elated, the shoemaker wonders what happened. So the next night, the shoemaker sets up two lots of materials for two pairs of shoes. When the shoemaker wakes up the next morning, there are two pairs of shoes glistening. Elated and curious, the shoemaker wants to know who is making the shoes. So one night, instead of going to bed, they hide leaving out more material for shoes to be made. Tired though from working, the shoemaker falls asleep. When they wake the next morning, the shoemaker sees that more shoes have been made, but the shoemaker realises that they must have fallen asleep, so they didn't get to see who'd made the shoes. The shoemaker, resolved to find out who's making the shoes, decides to set a trap, so whoever is making them can't disappear in the morning. With the trap set ready, the shoemaker heads to bed once more. During the night, the trap is sprung, a little bell attached to it jingles, waking the shoemaker up. The shoemaker races down the stairs to find the little creature, no larger than the size of her hand, scratching frantically at the rope attached to its ankle. Another creature is there, too, trying to free them. The shoemaker picks up a container and places it on top of them. They peer through the gaps. The shoemaker has never seen anything of the sort. They're like imps, elves, goblins or trolls. The tied one is now free and it stares at the shoemaker with puffed up cheeks. The other is making noises in a language the shoemaker doesn't understand. One thing for certain is they're not happy to be found. The shoemaker realises that it's not nice to keep them contained. After all, they did help him with the shoes and they look kind of shabby so he heads over to a cupboard and pulls out a small doll's house one the shoemaker's children used to play with setting it down on the table the shoemaker places some clothes inside it along with some practice pieces the shoemaker once made as an apprentice a top hat and a boot once happy the shoemaker pulled up the container and for a moment the creatures froze on the spot. I'm not sure where you came from, the shoemaker said, but if you would like, you can live here. Instead, help me make shoes and boots for my customers. The two creatures stared at the shoemaker and then at the doll's house, then scurried along inside. Oh, uh, well, that went on a little longer than I expected. I may have also changed the story slightly to fit the picture, but you get the gist. That is how I became inspired to do this piece, by taking the main premise of this story and making my own spin on it. Now it's time for me to talk a little bit about the actual art process to this. So to actually do this piece, I decided to implement the same method I did in my previous full art process video. I really enjoyed that and do creating that sort of style and I wanted to refine it. Overall, it probably took about three hours to get from initial thought to final piece as I did some thumbnail sketches which you first saw on the sketch phase. The colour phase, which is what this video showcases, is one of my favourite parts, although I always love sketching because sketching is just so fun you can just do it wherever with a sketchbook and you know, that sort of, sort of thing. Enough ad lemon. Okay, I feel as though I'm really getting a sense of how I want this process to be now. Not only that, I learned so much from the last one, I was able to bring it and make the process more refined in this piece. 
One of these learning things was instead of doing the background details before colouring in the characters, I made sure I only lightly washed over the piece with the sepia ink. This way I could make sure the background wasn't too overpowering and focus on the characters. I then went on to start adding a light shade of grey ink just so I knew where the shadows wanted to be and when I was going to make it easy when I was applying the pencil crayon. I love the skin tone that I managed to achieve with this piece because I hadn't gone in too deep with the shadow like I did with the last one. I feel as though I had much more control over it and I've been really focusing on line colouring um, rather than using black to outline. I did a bit of black where there would be more deeper shadows but I used it infrequently. It's something that I've really noticed uh, kind of just makes something pop a bit more. Uh, doing line colouring over uh, actual bold black outlines. Obviously if I was doing like a manga piece then obviously I would do that but I'm kind of my, I want my style to be sort of like a sort of semi-realistic um, manga anime style type type thing. So this is sort of more where I'm looking to, to go with that. As I was writing the voiceover, I had an initial thought that the boot seems a little off and I would have liked to have done a better job. I just don't think it's kind of very much boot like. It, it looks a bit like a boot, but it kind of looks squashed and flat and it doesn't particularly look great. But then I remembered something. I said in the story that the shoemaker made it whilst they were an apprentice. So it goes without saying, it's not likely to be very good, is it? So yeah, I'm going to say it was intentional. And just a little bit more about in the inspiration for this sort of piece. The actual top hat for the uh, standing creature is inspired by the Hatter's Hat in Alice in Wonderland. Uh, it really stands out with the colours because um, I chose like sort of greeny, um, browny colours, um, which kind of make it stand out with the red hair of the creature. And also, I thought because I'm going to be doing green eyes with the creature because of the red red hair. Um, I thought it would kind of like just tie in nicely with that. So yeah, I really like this piece. Um, it's the, the, the two characters kind of just look, obviously you can't see the other one because it's in the boot, but I just kind of like, I just think it's cute and I kind of like the the way they just, they just seem a little bit playful as though they're, they've got these, these items that are just everyday items and they are just like almost wearing them um like the top hat and the boot the, it's almost like he's in a sort or the oh, i don't even know what what gender that creature is it's kind of like i've got the sort of red hair with the, with the things on so but they they've got their feet sticking out of it almost as though they're in a in a bath type thing um and also I've done the little little teddy bear as though she's got just like a little teddy bear with, with, with her um, yeah so I just really quite like that it's, it's kind of just cute and um, it's kind of like I also like the gaze that she's got um, as she stares, st stares at you as well so finally I really enjoyed doing this piece even if it did take me a long time to get it finished I can't wait to work on more like this, um, so please drop me a comment and let me know what you think I should try doing next. I am thinking of doing fan art from Avatar The Last Airbender because I recently watched the entire series in, 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 in one week. In, yeah, in one week. Um, I also did it, I also that same week watched Korra as well, which yeah, so I managed to sit and watch and two entire series of Avatar and Korra um, and it's totally inspired me uh, I want to do something for, for it um, Toph, Toph is best girl um, so watch out for that in the next couple of weeks if you liked the video please remember to hit that like button and also leave a comment as I say or, or just leave a comment in the in the box below and, um, and just let me know what you think I should be doing and if you've not already, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification so that you get um, those annoying pop-ups to let you know when I've posted a video. 
I'll be posting the vinyl version of this as well um, as the scan of my sketch over on my Instagram. There is a link in the, in the description for my Instagram page, so please do go check it out. I post regular story updates and try at, to post at least once or twice every week. So go show me some love and follow if you've not already. So what I'll say now is until next time, I'll see you later.